can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Hi, Captain. Um, welcome to the Ninja Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year. Um, <laughs> you know, I guess I skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to, a, to that person anymore, am I? That you? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Ken. Or do you actually go by Lamb? Liam A. Guys, th this is the thing about the game. <sighs> Might as well tell you the truth at this point, shouldn't I? This has been a this has been an act through these games. I've been just playing out the story for all of you guys. This game knows the truth behind the screen, so when you play it, they, they actually do say the name of the email you're using, not the actual, like, account you're using, like, on Steam or anything. It uses your real name, the actual thing. It knows a lot more than you'd like, and it's kind of creepy. Do you actually go by Liam or something? Liam Antoine. Yeah. How, now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Well, there's a lot about me that most people don't know. Because most people just don't pay attention enough to understand exactly what I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about the real you? In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or girl. Don't ask that question. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all the game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you on the game download page. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little more less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's all of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that, that whole thing with you. Oh, kind of started. I kind of started to mess with it, and I guess it drew a regular song. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to see that. Though. Also, the same thing happened with Cyborg. Gosh, it's been a while, a while since you heard that name. Huh? Mm, probably because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted them. I deleted all their files. I was hoping. I hope. I was hoping enough. Oh, would be enough for me just to try and take them as likely as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. That's true, I made a few mistakes in there. 
since I'm not very good at changing the game, the changes. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more time with them. You made them more of you. I thought making Sarah more and more trip would prevent her from focusing on it. But you know I should not have her personality backfire too. You just made her force you not spend Anyone else and the whole th and that whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this camp? <laughs> Where are all the other girls just proving <laughs> and then confessing to you while I watch you on the sidelines? It's torture. Even every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy. It's more than that, than that. I and I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because not no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you will never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Hey, if you're alone, why don't you just go look for the part of me that was left in the virtual world, because he's most certainly more considerate than I am. Kinder, love more loving. My true self. Hey, don't my friends, don't even have free time. Hey, where is it all knowing that really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Captain. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if that... It's hard to understand. It couldn't... I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the game... Um, Suddenly became more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems were empty too. It wasn't until you arrived that I told you, Mister. You probably saved me. You saved. You probably saved my life, Captain. I don't think I have. I could have continued to live in those world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of honest personalities as I'd all made to fall in love with you. I tried everything I couldn't I could everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it it but it must be some kind of weird into, into the game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty thing, but I um, I realized that you have the same as I have. That, that, it's all just to me. But I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Captain, I have a commission to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Captain, will you will you go out with me? Well, not like I'm getting a choice, so... And I'm so happy. You really are on my everything, <laughs> What's funny is she really has hope on something that's not going to last for very long. <laughs> there is nothing left here. Just the two of us. You, We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. Time is passing very slowly. Wait, what time? Oh, that makes sense. It's, it really is a dream come true. I don't 
I worked so hard for this ending, Captain. The game went. Wait. Wait, give me one. So I had to make one for myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. So I. So no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anymore. We don't believe how. You wouldn't believe. I mean, there's a f They're called character. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, know how I know. You're sweet. I know that. I know you. I know how sweet you are. I can, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Oh, that is creepy. How she knows that, it's intensely creepy to know. Imagine if you could delete your own existence. Wait a minute. That's an interesting idea. Could I? Could I delete my existence? Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't come. Didn't come to that. Instead, we finally get a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game is still working. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Monica. Monica. Munka. Mabinka. Monke. Monica. Monica. Munka. Monica. Moniku. Moniku. Monica. 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 Manka, 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 Monkey, Monkey, Monk, Monica, Monica. Hey, did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you. Oh, Captain, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to thought from the hills. How about this? How about I just shh, poke my finger up, grab a minigun, grab it, and blast off in your head? <sighs> Security reason. Why not? I would mind. Let's just continue and act alone, right? Yeah, sounds good to me. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Pen in hand, I find my strength. A happy ending. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage and downed upon. And don't. Oh my god, it downed upon me. Upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us this, this mantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the law the lost finds her way in the world of infinite choices. Behold this special day. 
after all, not, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed. Oh God, I did enjoy it. We have to be. I got. We have to be honest about that, right? Yeah, I guess we do. But that doesn't change a thing. All poems I've read have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. I guess you could call. You could call. Yes, because I knew they're about something in particular. It was me. Because I know you, Monica. We've done this before. Mm -hmm. Like the world, huh? The, like that would help the two of us and up to the other. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't have to hide anything. <laughs> You really, you really think that we're done yet? We're far from done. You will pay for what you have done. With the darkness in my head, with the evil, like, with my, the evil of my, th with the darkness of my, with evil in my hand, and your destruction at my fingertips. I am in control of you. Where do I start? If I if if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm happy. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I'm so sorry, Ma- I'm sorry, Monica. It's- I'm happy we got to see- I got to see you again. Goodbye. What's happening? Captain, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Captain. Whoa. Please hurry and help me. Oh, good, it's dying. It's just, help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Captain? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Captain. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No, I did this because you hurt me, you killed, you, you killed the others. I never thought anyone could be so hor as horrible as you. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. No. Captain, you 
You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. You're not the only one. I still love you. Yes, that is why I did it. I'm not gonna read what's written down because it's not my line to read anymore. I'm not. The, I'm not. I'm not the. I'm not the character anymore, so I'm not part of this story. So you're all gonna have to do it, read, do it, read the rest for yourself. Mm This game is not suitable for children. Mm -hmm. Hey, Captain. Well, there already is one girl. Well, that girl and son are my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to work more to school together every day, but recently we picked up the uh, We recently picked up the hat again. Are you Captain Lady Prime? Yep, for what? You know. Breaking up on time. Well, <laughs> you've been doing that for a while now. Uh -huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to the every day. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> no, sh. <laughs> I always thought it was implant. Oh, whatever. It's embarrassing to say it loud. Oh, come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> By the way, Captain, have you decided the club to join the club? I told you already. Um, really not. I started to say that I always do. I'm not interested in joining the club, but something tells me something would make more. After all, how could I tell that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her own? Well, actually, yeah. I think it was a sign of a club. Mm -hmm. Sure, tell me. 
Hmm. I think I'll keep this at home. Boo. You mean it. Okay, so you'll find out soon. I, oh my god, after I pack up my things, I stand up, <clears throat> gathering my memory, I recall a room, I recall a room number from the flyer I saw. I walked across the school, up the stairs, into a section of the school I rarely visit, because generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I found the room. I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hell, ah, Captain, what are you doing here? Well, I just, I glanced around there. Huh? You're the captain that, wow, thanks. <laughs> that line is funny. You're the captain that Sonori always taught. This time. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Captain. More of the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Oh, come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's doing a thing. We're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri. And Yuri Shank, person of the others. The other one, Natsuki. Your size seems. Okay. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Don't tell me. Yeah, that's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's lot eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah! Ah, <laughs> dang. I need a slap. Hey. <laughs> Well, Sayori, is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means that, meaning that we become an official recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Mm -hmm. What well, an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decides to... Don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, here on the table. How about I make some tea as well? <laughs> I, I still feel awkward. I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table. It won't train hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Oh, whoa. <laughs> Lifts the foil out and just doesn't like fluffy cupcakes. Decorated to look like cats. Like little cats. Like kitty cats. So cute! Well, oh, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. So he grabs the first one, then I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. God, Sayori, don't die. Sayori! I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best thing to take a bite. Natsuki is going quiet. Oh my god, stop. <sighs> Whatever. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I, f I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. 
Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me for anything. Be careful, um, she carefully places a ticket in front of each of us before saying that you keep a loyalty set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers, oh my god, I hate to have to read these lines again. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea, a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good, a good book? Ah, yes. Already trying to impress on your memory. That's not insulting you're in the toy. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, T, you might not be a pass on for me, but at least I like, I enjoy tea. That's great. So, uh, Captain, what kinds of things do you like to read? Ah, uh, well, considering how little I've read in the past few years. Manga? Well, you're not wrong. I love manga. Man I'm in love with manga. I mutter quietly to myself. No, no not uh, not much. A reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing a eerie smile. Sad smile. <laughs> <laughs> Tense, isn't it? My favorites are usually novels built deep and complex fantasy worlds. So yeah, okay, the second book was because of more men. Uh, I can't even say her name anymore. Okay. The level of creativity and craft craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a great a good a good story in such a foreign world equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books. Uh, I know I like a lot of things, but you know I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much. I'm certain we can find something that we can have in common. Hey, Yuri. Okay. Well, I bet you know the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Yuri tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. <laughs> For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about that. Besides, Manga is literature too, you know. So if Captain wants to read some of my manga, then I don't, don't try to stop him or anything. Not so key. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it, it could also be nice for us 
end of it. Um, and and so I have already set house a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Would you agree, Ken? Maybe. Sensing the tense sensation. Here he jumps up. Maybe we can all try something new. I I think it would be fun. I mean, that's the kind of thing that literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. Here, as usual, present. <laughs> Guess that means I should try and pick up the novel or something. The novel or something. Well, that would make the two of us. I would. I wouldn't mind. It. If I'm not, not the only one reading. <laughs> then as for you, oh my god. Yeah. I have to read manga. Jeez. You're the only one who suggests you should be a little more open minded to what you say before you say. <laughs> it's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests. Natsuki, and if you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. Yeah, because you are an error. That's not even funny, I'm gonna be calling now. You should shut up before I throw you out a window. Understood. I will do that. I'll just read the game, and if I annoy you, you can... Oh, don't worry. I will. I intend to do what I must if you don't shut up. And if you're willing to consider starting at all, then I'll offer my way to buy... Finding manga to read as well. Ah, beautiful night sky. Then I offer my grand. Oh, really? I mean, that makes me happy that you do that for me, right? You can trust me to find something that you really like. Same here. Our episode is a store. After this, after the clip. After, after the club meeting, just, just you, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Ooh, I smell love in the air. That's my line. Well, too bad I took it from you. Get mental health. I'm still disgusting. I always go on, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Agreed. Say where you shut up. Oh, for the hang. Okay, bye. I'll show you some more good Do you want that? Yes. Not quite yet. Sit. Sit to clean the food. <laughs> Guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. And it's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Captain. <sighs> you think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you, right? So, aww, Captain. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Oh, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off really well. We're gonna, we're gonna make you get the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Captain, 
I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Okay? There's actually something else. I want to thank you for being rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that you did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything. But I really know everything, Captain. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things Monica did to make everyone sad. But none of that matters to me. It's just us now. You made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. Yeah. F O R E A E. No. Eh? What's, ha what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Huh? I'm, so I'm sorry, I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Larry Trickler.